Okay, so the next step is the pavement. I'm gonna go closer so we can have a better, better look. Right, so first we have to figure out what sort of pavement we want to make. So I'm gonna go to CG textures and I'm gonna look for some pavement uh, photos and maybe find something interesting. So this is a very common one. It's pretty boring, but you see it all the time. There are some other more interesting choices here. But let's start with this uh, simple common brick-like pavement. Alright, so I'm gonna take this already tiled image and open it in Photoshop. Okay, so the first step is I'm going to I copy everything, press Ctrl Alt C to change the canvas size and increase the canvas size to 200% in both directions. Okay, paste, move to corners. As you can see, it's styled pretty well. You can merge it down. Right. Maybe let's add a bit, bit of variation to this uh, image. I'm going to take one of the bricks. I'm going to copy it and paste. And move it around to some different positions. Right, once you have it in uh, the correct position, you can try to blend it in by erasing the border with a pretty hard brush. Like that. Okay. Okay, let's first um, get rid of these most noticeable seams right, uh, right here. You can see them repeating. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. I'm gonna go in and use the clone stamp tool. Okay, let's make it hard. Pick from a seam like this. Okay. And clone it up here. Like that. I'm just getting rid of the most visible elements that are clearly tiled. Okay, so that's a bit better. Let's go in and get rid of one of these corners here. Right. Okay, I think this is much better. Okay, merge down. And we're gonna save this image. Okay, let's save it as a PNG file. Pavement diffuse right now we're going to create a bump map as well 
So to do that, I'm going to duplicate the layer. And use the select tool, select color range, to pick the darkest part. I'm going to make our seams now. Okay, increase the fuzziness and press OK. So this should select only uh, the darker seams. Okay, press Ctrl J to duplicate and Alt click on this little button here to hide everything else. Alright, I'm gonna create a white layer beneath this one. Just fill it with white color. And I'm gonna clean it up a bit. Okay, with the erase tool. I'm gonna get rid of these spots on the inside. So this can take some time. Try to not erase any of the borders. Okay, so now that's cleaned up, let's increase the contrast a bit. And desaturate it. Like this. Right. Now let's try to duplicate the layer, blur it slightly, okay, blur, Gaussian blur, like that. I want to make a bit of a transition from white to black. Okay, so the corners of the bricks would be rounded, not not sharp edges, but rounded. Okay. Right, let's duplicate the lower layer again and blur with a smaller radius. And one more time. Like that. Okay. And this one might be too much. Okay, like this. And maybe let's use uh, this original texture instead of the white one but with increased lightness value like this. So it's not perfectly straight but has some slight color variation. Right, 
So this is going to be our displacement map. I'm going to save it. Okay, payment displace. And for the reflection, we're going to use something like this. I'm just going to desaturate it. And make it a bit darker. All right. Actually, I'm going to hide these top blurred la layers and leave just the crisp with blocks here, like that, and save it. So now these black parts will not be reflective and they will be displaced down. So we should have some nice uh, seams between the bricks or tiles. Alright, so let's let's try and see how it looks. Let's create a new material, pavement, all right, and let's start with the diffuse. So we need to fix the tiling. And perhaps rotate it like this. Okay, not like this. Okay, so let's fix the tiling. Right, so I think this might be good. Maybe a bit too much. Okay, like that. Let's see how it looks over here. Okay, it looks very good. Alright, so the tiling is set up, we can copy the map to the reflect slot, change it to the correct texture, enable Fresnel, set to something like 3.5 or 3.8 and reduce the glossiness to 0.4. Right, and we can also paste it in the bump slot and displacement slot. And we're going to change this texture to this one here. Actually, in the bump slot, I'm going to use the same map as for the reflect. Okay, and the displacement set at 100 is much too strong, so we're going to use something like 3 or 4. All right. And let's render and see how it looks. Alright, as you can see, it's much too strong. Let's 
So we're, we're going to reduce the displacement strength to 0 0.5. Okay, it looks like there is a bit of a problem here. Seems like I've accidentally um, pasted an instance somewhere and just changed the diffuse color as well. So I'm gonna copy the diffuse color, paste the copy and change it to the correct texture. All right. And maybe let's reduce the displacement amount a bit more. 0.2 Re-render. So I think it looks pretty good. We can add some dirt and I think it's going to be fine. But I think the road texture is a bit too bumpy. So I'm going to back to the road and reduce the bump to 5. Okay, 7. Alright, and now for the pavement I'm going to add some dirt to the diffuse slot. I'm going to copy the texture. Actually, just change it to very dirt. Keep a submap and move to the unoccluded color slot. Okay, clear the radius. And we're going to use some sort of a bitmap here. Okay, look for something old. This might be fine. I'm going to open the large size in Photoshop. Okay, reduce the saturation. Use levels to increase the contrast. And maybe some more adjustments with curves. Like that. Okay, so it's already tiled. We can save it. Back in 3D Max, we're going to use this map as our dirt radius. Okay, here it is. Let's see in viewport. Fix the tiling. So something like this. All right, let's leave the rest of the settings as they are and re-render the scene. So you can see some uh, dirt along the edges now. Looks a bit more realistic. I think we can use a higher bump value here. Actually first we should uh, reduce the blurring of the bump and set it a bit higher. 
the bump will give us uh, the small deformations, imperfections on the surface, while the displacement gives us the large movement uh, of the mesh. So the displacement makes the bricks go up, and the bump makes them have these uh, rough surfaces. Right. Okay, maybe let's increase the dirt radius and call this material finished. Let's try 50. Maybe not black, but very dark. Um, moss green or something like this. Right. And I'm also going to reduce the blurring for the diffuse map. Okay. We render. It looks fine. You can see a lot more of the dirt here along the edge. Okay, so you can use the same basic technique for creating various pavement materials. You just start with a different image. And it's very good if you are source image has dark dark seams that can easily be made into a displacement map right so that's the pavement material